Okay, this video is going to be a continuation, part two if you will, of my Meteor for Poi Spinners series. So, this video is going to be behind the back weaves with your Meteor. And before you start trying to do these with a Meteor, um, so that you know the weaves that I'm going to do behind the back are going to be a behind the back forwards three, a behind the back reverse three, a forwards five, and a reverse five. All behind the back. Um, so if you're watching this, at least be comfortable with one of those. If you can only do your behind the back forwards, then that's all you'll do. And that's fine. And this video will come in handy for you now and it will come in handy for you later as well. And it'll just be something that you'll have to come back to. Um, man, I'm pounding my heads, but... Oh, well, these are brand new play heads. I'm already praying them by doing this. Okay, I don't want to get off track. Um, but, yeah, as long as you're comfortable with at least one of those, then this video will help you. What I want you to do is warm up by doing your behind the back weaves. However many you can do. And get them going smooth. I know I didn't really do them too much there, but I'm still breaking in these chains and these heads and working on how to do it. Just switched over to fire not too long ago. So, um, the next thing that I want you to do is pick up your meteor, which I explained what this meteor was in the last video, and you can watch that. It's on forward weaves. And I want you to start trying your reverse weaves behind your back. Just start trying them from a dead stop and get a feel for them. So they are a little bit different. Your hands are kind of tied together. You can't separate them as far. And I leave, just so that you know, I put my hands that far apart, which is from my wrist to the inside of my elbow, or from the bottom of my palm to the inside of my elbow, right there to right there. And that gives me enough space. If you need more, hold them out farther. If you need more length on your poi, hold them closer together. It's entirely up to you. But I want you to warm up by doing just a forwards three and a reverse three behind your back. So that's reverse. That one down with your meteor in your hand. Then practice it forwards. And maybe practice switching between them, which I'm not very smooth with right now. I apologize for that. But, yeah. It's the same thing as spinning them with poi. You're just, your hands are tied together. It's the way that I think about it. Um, if you don't know those yet, go to home of poi learn those tricks first, obviously. Anything that I'm going to be teaching you here, um, as far as learning it with Meteor, you're going to need to know it with Poi first. Um, the big thing with these is the transition into them, which I usually start from a forward 3B, and you need to know how to do your forward 3B with your Meteor handle, Meteor looks like that and I switch for one rotation into a one-handed 2B with Meteor. So I have a video on those as well. Um, so I'm going to switch to this which is a very common position for Meteor. Um, I'll post a video on the transition between here and here. because um, that's a common one, but once you have that, 
There's transitions both ways. Whoa! These. And you know you're behind the back leaves, you're ready. To get into these, you want to start spinning your 3B forwards, and you want to switch the meteor into your right hand and start like you're going to be doing a 2B. So you're here, and you switch it into your right hand. As you switch it into your right hand, and you basically just let go with your left and move your right hand closer to the middle a little bit, you want to let your right hand or your right thumb follow whichever point it's closer to, or follow the thumb side point down. And I'll do that over here so that you can see the movement behind me. See how my hand turns and ends up at a 90 degree angle behind me? So it's here and here. And what I do with the other hand is reach back and grab it like this, also at a 90 degree angle, also with my thumb up. And that's a staff transition. So this is where staff comes into meteor. Um, basically what we're doing is, just to go off on a tangent for a second, is this. Which a buddy of mine is making a bunch of staff videos. So those will be online soon too. I actually have them recorded. I just have to move them over to my computer and I don't know, put them on my YouTube or his YouTube or something. So that's just a little origin of this. And from there, after you have this movement down and the grab, you want to start swinging your poi. And usually when I do this, I turn around. So it's going to be here I'm facing forward. Here are my poi are behind me. And as I finish it, I'm going to have my body facing the opposite direction so that I can keep swinging my poi. So that's one, two, and, oh, let me do it right for you. One, two, and three. And from here, you're swinging behind your back. And you can do your behind the back turns. You can do anything else that you need to. Um, so I hope these help. I hope that this shows you how to get in to a behind the back move. Because it baffled me for a little bit. So I got these down. Alright, there you go. And enjoy. That's the how to get into your behind the back weaves, basically. And how to do them with a meteor. Have fun.